Hey, welcome back to the channel Pushrodders. So this video is a bit of a continuation of a day in the life of the mechanic short. We were doing uh, brakes on a big block C3 Corvette. Now, one of the issues I come across, and I haven't come across this before, but I guess there'd be quite a few of you that have worked on uh, Chevy muscle cars and the likes. Chevy in their wisdom decided to rivet the rotors to the hubs. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, find center, although there are little divots in this, you might be able to pick it up in the center of the rivet there. So we might be able to use those. We've got to drill the rivets. We've got brand new rotors there ready to be put on. And the bearings aren't looking... Uh, to flash so we're going to uh, clean them inspect them and repack them with grease now the only other little probably top tip of the day is because these bearings are mated pretty much to the to the cups there what I've done is I've just got where my, I don't know if that'll come up or not but uh, there's two little center punch marks and two little center punch marks on the on the little uh, cup there or the whatever you want to call it just so i know what's what Alrighty, let's get marking and cleaning and drilling and all the rest of it we'll center punch the rivets pretty much found center i mean they can be a little bit off because all we're doing is literally getting a big ass drill bit and drilling the heads and then getting a punch and a hammer and pushing them through but uh, what I'm thinking is is I'm gonna go over to a mate of mine which is also a customer I might use his uh, mill milling machine to drill all these out just make life so much simpler and easier than just sitting there trying to do it with a freaking hand drill so but let's get on with cleaning the bearings and we've also got another one of these to do as well so we just clamped it onto the bed and we're going to start drilling So that's pretty much about the size of it. Now for, uh, what have we got? Another nine to do with uh, including that one. So we'll get back to you when they're done. Alrighty, as you can see, we've already got the other rotor off. So it's, uh, let's get some of this swap off. Swap this up in a minute. So pretty much it's a, um, a punch and a nice big hammer and um, yeah. So I've had a go at taking these rivets out off the other hub and yeah, it's, they're rusted in solid. So what I'm going to do is just get a cut off wheel, cut them off flush, make sure it's all nice and smooth. So the, uh, the disc rotor's got a nice smooth service to go on and um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, well, we've cut these little bits of the stud off nice and flush when we get back to push rod hq it's going to get a good tub up same with the other one 
because we've got bits of grinding or cutting material and freaking swarf and crap so it's getting a good clean inside and out all right push rodders so i didn't film cleaning all this stuff it's pretty boring and yeah just a waste of time trying to film but uh yeah needless to say all our bearings are clean inside of our hubs are clean the surface has been wire brushed and cleaned off so we've got the discs that will seat properly so now it's time to put some grease in there get them predominantly back together and then over to site well there you go push rotors hubs on new rotor got new pads all the rest of it done now you know what's involved what are you waiting for go and get your hands dirty see you next video